Greetings, my fellow Elder Scrolls friends and viewers. This is TBW slash the Volvodin here, and I'm bringing you guys a post commentary video. And I really hope you guys have been enjoying a lot of my live commentary videos I've been uploading in the past few days. But in this video, I'm going to talk about my impressions and thoughts about the Dark Brotherhood expansion pack of Elder Scrolls Online. Now, I've beaten the Elder Scrolls Dark Brotherhood expansion four or five days ago. Um, it, it was really fun when I actually beat it because you get rewarded with lots of goodies and money and some pretty cool skills that you unlock for the Dark Brotherhood tree. Now, my thoughts on the storyline is that I really felt like it was, it, it felt like you were playing the Dark Brotherhood quest line in a way because a lot of the characters and just how the storyline was going and it was actually a little bit different in comparison to past Elder Scrolls games but you know it is ESO so they kind of had to put their own t um, twist and their own style but still bring in the good old Dark Brotherhood we all love and miss. But after playing the whole quest line, I will say that the whole stealth mechanics and assassination backstab um, mechanics that they put into this game has been really a lot more difficult in comparison to Skyrim because honestly, if you were using stealth type characters in Skyrim and Oblivion, stealth was pretty easy in my opinion and that's because, you know, that's just how the game was built, uh, the stealth engine wasn't as insanely difficult in Fallout 4 in comparison because I know Fallout 4 stealth is a little bit more strict which I really liked because it actually rewarded you if you got a successful stealth um, sneak attack bonus damage on to your enemies but it really forces you to be smart and that's kind of cliche when you're playing a stealth type of game but being smart is what gives you rewards and if you're punished by failing and being spotted by enemies then you get punished pretty hard by getting a bounty on your head and losing all your loot so and dying at the same time so it's it's a big lost and big punish if you fail to um, just have successful stealth slash murder contracts and stuff like this this is actually a repetitive sacrament quests you can do repeat um, repeatedly daily I'm pretty sure these are daily but it's a daily uh, quest you can do for the Dark Brotherhood once you beat it um, you do do these during the pre uh, expansion of the main quest because in order to progress to the next uh, set of quests for the main story of the faction quest you have to level up your Dark Brotherhood skill line by one level and then you're able to progress to the next uh, quest for the Dark Brotherhood and it, it does take a lot of time I will say it's a lot of repetition but you know that's kind of what you expect from this type of quest um, and also from the Thieves Guild actually because I know with the Thieves Guild they have you steal stuff and break into houses and pretty much do the same thing until you level up the Thieves Guild level and then you get the main quest um, you know just offered to you so that took a little bit a while so if you're a person who's really like impatient like me I suggest listening to music or watching Netflix on the side if you have two monitors but yeah that it, it kind of took some time but it was really worth it because once you get to the higher levels of your Dark Brotherhood skill line you're able to have more of an advantage when you're sneaking and stuff and my character is just totally built around stealth like I'm a Nightblade and I specialize in medium armor so I get all the stealth benefits and I kind of feel like this DLC is very difficult for a person who's not running a stealth character like me but it is possible to do it it's just a lot harder because you don't get those bonuses and you will find yourself having a more difficult time in comparison to someone who's invested in stealth skills and stuff like that so but you you're able to complete it that's not to say like you have to be a stealth character to play this but I'm just saying that it's going to be a little bit hard for you if you don't have a stealth character or you could become a vampire that's another option uh, I think vampires would really benefit from this 
quest line just because vampires get the speed bonus to their stealth movement but uh in this video i actually was wearing a full set of night silence which already gives me the stealth boost to my movement speed so i didn't have to become a vampire but yeah uh my thoughts on the dark brotherhood quest line i would have to give it a 9 out of 10 because i really enjoyed the storyline i'm not going to spoil what happens but i really like the interactions with the characters i thought they did a good job with that and the quests are really fun it's not just straight up stealth missions they also have you go to quests where you have to go loud and just go in and kill stuff which i really enjoy and you get an awesome reward which is the black hand robe that i'm wearing right now and i'm really excited until they add the color dye update for costumes that'll be sick so i'm probably gonna mess with that on this costume when that comes out but yeah if you enjoyed this video guys please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave it down in the comments down below if you had a lot of fun playing this expansion or if you're still in the progress playing this expansion and yeah this is the Vol within here guys and i'll see you guys on the next video